As those stay at home restrictions begin to ease, it appears that our new normal will include a lot like this plexiglass. 10 News reporter Michael Chen shows us where you will be seeing it and through it. If you've been out grocery shopping, you have seen them, those plexiglass partitions at the checkout. As the COVID restrictions loosen, the plexi presence about to become a lot more common. It's a little crazy. Uh, there's been a call to action for our industry to be able to provide these products that uh, are, are needed to combat the, the germ spread. Welcome to ePlastics, a 106 year old company based in Kearney Mesa. General Manager John Short says business was up 50% in April, employees working extra hours and days to keep up. Three weeks worth of work in, in one week. Um, so if that gives you any indication of you know, the pressure that's on to, to be able to fulfill the need out there. That need says Short is diverse, from local banks, nurseries, and liquor stores to office settings, including the Navy. I don't think anybody wants to, in the end, be responsible for not having conducted themselves in a manner that protected their employees or their customers to a high degree, and they want to participate in making sure that everybody feels safe. Short says among his biggest customers, local casinos, as they prepare to open. And we've done some, some work that I found pretty amazing, the, the dividers they're going to be putting in between slot machines to keep people uh, there safe and be able to open their doors. Those see-through dividers could soon be everywhere. In Central California, hands fit under them at a nail salon. At this nursing home, a plexiglass outdoor lounge allows family to visit residents. And in Georgia, where restaurants are reopening, the owner of this tavern says plexiglass will surround tables. The goal is the more safe people feel, the sooner I think that people will, that the, these businesses can open up and we can get back to some sense of new normalcy. Michael Chen, 10 News. The jury is still out on the effectiveness of these plexiglass dividers and grocery store workers have complained customers will go to the side and talk where there's no divider. 